Bruce Flippins fought here at the Felt Forum in March and fought a six-round draw with Bobby McCarthy. It was very impressive that night. You know, very unusual record, uh, Sam. Three draws and six fights. And it's, I think it's because of, uh, for a featherweight, he's a tall kid, but that belies the fact that he's a very, very strong guy, very strong guy physically. Kelly, the southpaw goes right on the attack. Flippins turned pro in 1987, had three fights in 87, only two in 88, and this is his second fight here in 89. Flippins from Denver can't complain about not getting or getting bad decisions out of town. And two of his draws were in his hometown. Very, very long guy. Worked the left hand to the body very well. <laughs> Kelly, not a big puncher. He'll beat you with combinations. He's got good hand speed. Puts them together real well, Sam. Good combination there. Well, that's, that straight left hand goes right down a pipe when he throws it. Toe-to-toe -to -toe bout thus far. Neither man giving much. <laughs> Kelly's starting to get the better of it. It's shaking up Flippins now. Good left hand scored and Flippins backs off for the first time. Kelly continues to move in. Good combination. That straight left. Very, very sharp for Kevin Kelly. You know, Sam, it's great to watch these kids progress. The difference between Kevin Kelly now and in the first professional fight is night and day. What about standing there toe-to-toe -to -toe with a fighter like Flippins? Well, he, uh, Kelly, if you watch, he's maneuvering all the time he's in there. He's sliding off to his right, keeping Flippins a little bit off balance, and hitting him with those combinations. He's not, he's not right in front of the man. Good right hand scores for Kelly. Again, the combination. It's always a combination. There's that straight left. Flippins has been rocked again and has to back off. What a chin he has, Sam. Outstanding first round for Kevin Kelly, putting his combinations together beautifully. We have to see if Kelly gets discouraged. He's hit him with his best shots, and nothing's happened. Early with a long way to go. Scheduled for six. Here's some of the combination work by Kelly. Beautiful combinations by Kelly. And, and Sam, if you watch real close, you'll see that Kelly slides to the side. Doesn't stay there to get the receipt when he's finished throwing those combinations. Nice left hand again by Kelly. I don't know if he's the type of fighter who will get frustrated, Gil. He's the way he fights, he just is very persistent. Well, also, Sam, he's young and he's still very, very ambitious. But believe me, when you hit a guy with your best shots, the way he's hit Flippins, and nothing happens except right now it did happen. It did happen off the left hand. Flippins was off balance, going backwards, and went down from the left. The count is seven. He's up eight. He seems to be okay. Sam, as you said, he was off balance. I don't think that punch had any more effect than some of the others that, that Kelly landed. Kelly trying to press the advantage. Flippin's a little tentative here. Again, still trying to crowd Kelly, but he has paid the price as Kelly has worked very well inside. I would think Flippin's with the long with the long arms would want to fight at long range instead of fighting close like this. I would say so, Sam, but, but Kelly just doesn't give him a chance. He's just clever, fast hands and throws those combinations. He's on the guy all the time. Kelly's supremely confident, always was in the amateurs, and is carried right into the pros. 
can't believe me. He's improved 100 since he was in an amateur. Even his physical definition is so much better. He's working over Flippins. Flippins trying to work the body on Kelly. See the way Flippins can use that strength that he has, Sam? To steer Kelly around when he gets a shot at it. Just under a minute to go in round two. Sharp jab by Kelly. Clifford's unable to sustain his attack, though. He'll get have those short flurries, and then he's got to back off as Kelly comes back. Kelly's just too clever for him, Sam. And Clifford's now bleeding from the mouth. Kelly, the referee, steps in between. Same combination. Right jab, straight left hand. There's that straight left hand again. Working that overtime. Time winding down in round two. that knockdown. Right, 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 well, Sam, you were correct. He was definitely off balance. And it was just another one of the many punches he's been hit solid with in the fight. This is round three, scheduled for six. Kevin Kelly in the white trunks. And Bruce Flippins in the black. And all Kelly thus far. Sam, you mentioned that Flippins should stay outside. But he's a big, tall guy. When he does stay outside, he has to take advantage of that long left hand. But he just never uses it. Kelly's beating him to the punch, stepping in with his jab very nicely. Is that good jab? Nothing behind it, though, that time by Kelly. Kelly was a little off balance, got caught with a left hand that time. You know, you talk about uh, Kelly being discouraged. He hit uh, Flippins with everything he had, and so far, really nothing uh, that damaging. What about Flippins? Shouldn't he be discouraged getting hit with all those punches? And it just looks like he's outclassed in there. But he's just at the time to get, stays there, does his thing. And he showed that against McCarthy. He hung in there and pulled out a draw in that fight. Good combination by Kelly. Kelly's throwing the left hand very well. Real straight. Straight as an arrow. And he sets it up beautifully. Sam faints, throws that right hand. Sometimes he jabs, sometimes he hooks. And then gets off that straight left hand. Uh, Phil Borgia and Bill Pickoff have done some job with this kid. Flippins with a good flurry. You know what, Sam? A lot of times when a south southpaw fights an orthodox fighter, they have a clash of heads. And it's already happened in this fight five or six times. I wouldn't want to see the kid get a cut. But you have to watch those heads, especially with the style when the southpaw is against an orthodox fighter. Kelly trying to go to the body was a little low with that left hand. I know if I was in Kelly's corner, I'd have him boxing outside now. Heads it together. Anything can happen. Flippins hanging with Kelly and answering back. Kelly just trying to outbang him here. And they're toe to toe battle. This time winds down in the third round. Good left hand got in by Kelly. And another one. A good left scores again by Kelly as we come to the bell. Out 
for round four, scheduled for six. Kevin Kelly in the white trunks, Bruce Flippins in the black, and it's been all Kelly. Any question as to the scoring, Gil? Absolutely not. Kelly's won every round, Sam, but again, I'd have him boxing outside now. He's, he's by far the smarter of the two, and he is boxing a little bit now. I just don't like the idea of them clashing heads, and, and Flippins is a strong guy. And now, then he should move. Throw the combination and move, just the way he did then. You don't have to stay there. And if Tommy Hearns is watching this fight, uh, Sam, he can learn something from Kevin Kelly, because the biggest mistake that Hearns makes, in my opinion, when he lands a good combination, he just stays still and waits for the receipt. Now, this kid has already learned that after you land those punches, you still have to be on the defense and move around. Kevin Kelly's fourth fight this year. He fought four fights last year. He follows up with a sharp left hand that rocks Flippin. Flippin's in trouble. Backs off. Trying to tie Kelly up. Kelly won't let him do it and continues to bang away. Flippin's is hurt. What a game fighter he is, though, Sam. He's taking a pounding in this fight from Kelly, though. Bad pounding. Wayne Kelly has better start taking a good look at Bruce Flippin. Sometimes you're too courageous for your own good. And, you know, Kelly right now is just playing with him, doing anything he wants to do. And Kelly stole a quick peek into the corner for some instructions as to what they want him to do to try and finish this guy off. Flippin's hanging tough. With Kelly dominating the fight. Flippin's trying to come back here. <laughs> Flippin's crowding Kelly. And a Big good right combination. Hand. Good right hand by Flippin's. He's such a strong guy physically, Sam. Kelly's banging him back. Flippin's trying to stay on top. It's rocked by a left hand. He did not go down, but Wayne and Kelly steps in and stops the fight. That was absolutely a perfect move by Wayne Kelly, Sam. I, I was starting to get a little concerned about Flippins again. I said, sometimes you're a little too courageous for your own good. This kid was outclassed. He was hyped. He had a tremendous heart. Wayne Kelly moved in at exactly the right time. Bruce Flippins, a little disappointed that the fight was stopped, but he was rocked. What a left hand that was by Kelly. And again, the courage, only the courage of Flippins kept him on his feet. Otherwise, he was going down and out. And Wayne Kelly stepping in. Oof. Look at the power that Kevin Kelly put into that punch coming off the ropes. Well, Kevin Kelly, to me, is a, certainly an up-and-coming fighter, Sam. I think we're going to hear a lot of Kevin Kelly. He looks terrific. Had a great amateur career, and he is following up with a perfect pro career thus far. Now 8-0 with five knockouts. Let's go to Ed Darien for the official announcement on the foul. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wayne Kelly stops this bout at two minutes and 25 seconds of the fourth round and a winner by a TKO for his eighth straight win in as many pro bouts, Kevin Kelly. Kelly. And a nice round of applause for Bruce Flippins. Let's hear so Bruce Flippins has suffered his first pro defeat. And this is seventh bout. Just a little uh, suggestions, maybe some tips from Kevin Kelly. Well, there's your sportsmanship that you usually have at the end of a tough fight, Sam. That's a happy band saying hello to mom and dad. Kevin Kelly, 8 and 0. Bruce Flippins now 3 1 and 3. Kelly continues his climb in his young pro career. It's been perfect thus far. Boxing from the Felt Forum continues in just a moment.